Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We're out here in the Woodland Homestead. We are uh, going to do something that uh, I think you should do in the first you know, year or so, throughout the first year that you're in a new homestead, and that is take an inventory of what your resources are. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So what do we have? We have a five acre uh, plot of land here, 90% uh, of which is wooded. Uh, with the exception of a, a very small grassy area uh, down at the bottom of the hill and then where our driveway and our house is. The rest of the property is, is completely covered in some type of cover, uh, trees or, or bushes or other things. So we're going to start at the, the front of the property out by the road and then we're going to work our way uh, all the way back to the back of the property. And we're going to be using some techniques that I've used before and some new stuff and to identify uh, what resources that we have here. All right, so we're gonna start down here at the bottom and there's three main things that I want to identify. Number one, I'm going to identify any dead trees. Now is a great time to identify any dead trees that uh, don't have any leaves on them. Uh, that way, when it comes fall time and a lot of the leaves fall off the trees, it's easier for me to get in the woods. Um, and those I can cut out. This is an oak tree that died down by the road. This I can cut down and this will be firewood for this year. It's already seasoned, it's been dry and standing, it's, it's perfect. And so we'll be using a lot of that resource for this year's wood. I have my helper here today, Summer. So which color should we use for dead trees? Black? Black, black? okay, black for dead trees. So we're gonna put a small dot right at the, the base of the trees. And we're gonna do it on the opposite side of the tree so that we don't see it all the time coming into the house. So we'll put a, a dot on that one that is black. We also want to identify maple trees. So we're gonna go through here and, and take kind of an inventory of what types of trees we have. Uh, you can see here, there's a maple tree that I tapped this year actually. Um, they're very easy to identify now uh, rather than when they don't have leaves. And so uh, I'm going to go around and we'll put a small dot. So what color will we use for maple trees? We'll use the red, right? Or burgundy. Mm -hmm. And so again, we'll put that on the back sides of those trees. So we're going to see count how many maple trees we have in here as we go through also. The other thing that I want to know is do I have any fruit trees? Uh, do I, are there any natural crab apples, cherry trees? Um, are there any apple trees or anything like that? Any other kind of fruit trees, mulberries, other things like that around the house uh, that are already growing here that we could use. Uh, I also wanna just kind of check out what other kinds of trees we have growing in the forest. Some are easy to identify based on what I know, just leaves and things like that. Some of them not so easy. And so we're gonna use uh, a new tool uh, to, uh, to identify uh, any, any other kind of trees or plants that we have growing around here and see what kind of resources that we have that we can use to provide food for ourselves or firewood or other things. So, all right, so we're just gonna put it on the base of the tree at the back here. So how about right down there? Just make a dot, just spray it on there. All right, so this one easy to identify is maple. Okay, stop, that's it, that's all you need to do. Bam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, look at the, okay, maple leaves on that branch. So this is one right here. So on the back side of it, get close, there you go. Okay, that's two. Okay, that's good. That's it. These are all oaks in here. There's a lot of mosquitoes in here. This right here qualifies, it's dead. So let's go ahead and get a black mark on this one. Okay, here's a maple right here. Oh, that's oak. See the leaves? No, we're not I'm gonna. Okay, go ahead, do one, bottom. Whoa, you missed. Okay, that's good. Here's another one. This is a double maple tree right there. Yep. Yeah, that was a big mushroom. There's some big ones in here. So one of the tricks or one of the tools that we're going to use today is an app that uh, I have found. And uh, this is just kind of, this has helped me a lot out here in the new Woodland Homestead. Uh, I have a pretty good, you know, basic understanding of, I've taken forestry classes and you look through books and you look through, you know, you can look online to identify leaves and bark and all these kinds of different things. But when you actually get out here, there's, depending on the region, depending on the area, depending on the, the climate, trees grow in slightly different ways. There's, there's always different variations. And so it's, it's hard sometimes to tell the different kinds of trees apart. Plus I just don't know them all plants and all these different things. And so I have found an app that surprisingly, I've been waiting for this technology <laughs> for many years. This app actually works really well. 
And uh, let me show you how it works. I'll take you into the app. And uh, as we kind of go through the woods here, we're going to identify some of the different kinds of trees. Um, it's a maple, but what kind of maple is it? Uh, can we identify that? Uh, different kinds of uh, oak trees we have here. What kinds are they? Those are a little easier to tell. Uh, mushrooms. Can we identify some mushrooms? What kind of mushrooms do we have here? I don't know much about them. Uh, but also some fruiting bushes and other kinds of trees. Are the, is the fruit edible? Is it not? And so we can, we can, uh, we have a tool here that we can use. So let me take you in and uh, we'll go around and see how well this works for us. So this is an app called Plant Story. And you can download, of course, on App Stores. I'll put a link to this in the description. But it has a feature called Plant ID where we can actually snap a picture of trees, berries, mushrooms, uh, all kinds of different things, uh, leaves, and it will help us to identify them. So let's, uh, let's do a couple things around here. Let's just test it out. So we've got uh, lots of maple trees in this forest. Our old forest had lots of silver maples. These do not look like silver maples. I believe they're red maples, but let's see what it says. So we'll snap a picture and hit confirm, and we'll see what it says here red maple so this uh, identifies the the tree by the leaf gives it a description characteristics tells you a bunch about the tree um, and which is uh, very helpful and then you can add it to your garden or add it to your homestead so you know that that's a resource that you have there so our maple trees are being tagged these are going to be used for maple syrup production here so want to see how many we have we also have lots of mushrooms around here Let's see if this will identify some of these mushrooms that we have brown roll rim it says it looks looks like it's the right one so this will tell you whether they're edible or not and all kinds of different things where they're from and you know how they're used all that kind of good stuff previously considered edible and eaten widely it has been found to be dangerously poisonous okay well so i wouldn't trust this you know 100 percent obviously with things that are <laughs> going to be poisonous or not but it says that that one's not good well, let's check out these big ones there's lots of mushrooms in the forest so let's see what it says about this. You want to, shoot, you want to do this one? Yeah. Okay. It's rounder and beautifuler. <laughs> Looks like something ate out of it. Yeah. Penny bun. So this, these are edible, I believe, and they're pretty big. That's a pretty good size, pretty good size uh, mushroom there. And so, uh, and of course, you want to verify these things. There's a couple other different kinds around here. There's these little yellow ones, and I just this is something I just don't know that much about. So this is very helpful, at least to get me started at what these could be. So that gives me information about that. There's also a few kinds of trees here that I'm not familiar with. So let's snap some pictures of these leaves right here. See if anybody can guess before I, before you get the answer. Sassafras. Okay, that's that's good. That looks looks to be accurate. And let's check this. This is kind of a smaller type of shrub. Don't really know what this is. So let's take a clump of leaves here. See what it says black cherry so there's lots of these around Gen these are close related to choke cherries and this is looks to be pretty accurate these I, I see growing around here quite a bit so it does produce fruit this one doesn't have any fruit on it but these are similar to choke cherries i've read so you can look up more information on wikipedia actually this link here will tell you more information but these actually could be a great resource here so i had no idea i've never really had a lot of black cherries so i've got a bunch of other trees that uh, i'm seeing fruit on up by the house that i want to check out what they are um, i think i have a hunch but uh, we'll let the plant story app uh, help us out and see if it can uh, if it agrees with me or disagrees so all right so so far on the lower side of the property we have found uh five maple trees yes that we've tagged and a few dead trees. All the way at the top of the trees there, I can see the, the maple leaves. So yeah, let's mark this one. Give it a maple mark. Maple? Yep, maple. Okay, good. Come on, Summer, you can I'm do scared. it. Do it, do it. Wait, how big are my leaves? <laughs> Mommy. Okay, don't do that with the spray paint in your hands. I have a feeling you're gonna spray paint your face or something. Mark, right down there is another one. Okay. That's perfect. It's another dead one. Did we already mark that one? I don't know. These, all three of these are maples. Go ahead, give us a mark at the bottom of that one. Yep, good. Here's another one. Like this one right here, this is tappable. This one's maple. Daddy. They're acorns. These are like just acorns. young acorns that dropped green. 
Leaves of three, let it be. Well, there's lots of things with leaves of three. It's not poison ivy necessarily. This right here is something else. Look at those flowers. So this is basically a weed. Oh, okay, this is something interesting. It's a mushroom of some sort. Look at that. Indian, Indian pipe. pipe. It okay. looks like it's see-through It stem. says it's an herb. It looks like it's a see-through stem. I'm gonna add that one. It could be useful for something. But this is a maple tree right here. Take it at the bottom. Oh, and this is the mark of... Uh, Tell you a story about that another day. Maple. Okay, good. So as I was walking around some of our landscaping, I've noticed quite a few things that look like, uh, well, poison ivy, and also some kind of berries and things in here. We've got these kinds of things. I'm not sure what that is. And there's lots of that in here as well as other things. So let's see if we can identify some of this stuff up here. Looks like it could be some kind of a berry. Red raspberries. Okay, that's good. Something different. Northern dewberry. Black raspberry, that's good. A lot more of these. That looks like what we already identified as a black raspberry. There's a bunch of these in here. I don't see too many raspberries, but I have earlier this year. We also noticed this tree growing here next to the path. And that is a mulberry. We actually saw some mulberries on this earlier this year before the birds cleaned it out. But that's great to have a mulberry tree already established here. Bonus. And what do we have here? Lots of that growing around here too. I have noticed this tree right here may have been, I mean, I'm sure this was planted many years ago as a ornamental type of plant, but it looks like it may have some kind of an apple. Is this a crab apple? I think it is. You can tell by the leaf that it's some kind of an apple. They're all very similar crab apples as well as all the other apples. So it does say it's a crab apple. At least this gives me an idea that these are, I do have quite a bit of uh, fruit resources around here the, between the mulberries, a lot of black raspberries, a lot of red raspberries around growing wild. And uh, those little cherries, the, the uh, black cherries, which could be useful for something. We can make jams and other things, syrups out of those. And then we have the crab apples here, which if these if these are truly crab apples, they can be used for lots of things. And so uh, it's a resource that, you know, we moved in here, I had no idea that these were actually, you know, a, a, a fruit producing ornamental tree. So uh, that app uh, kind of helped me out. Well, what did we end up with? So an inventory, kind of a walk around the whole property, a walk of the five acres, uh, kind of zigzagged around. I tried to catch just about every tree and kind of identify what is uh, what we have, what we don't have. Um, once I identified a couple of the ones I wasn't sure about, it was pretty easy to recognize those throughout the forest. So, so what do we end up with? Mainly, we have a lot of oak trees. There's a lot of those oak trees throughout the, the property. Uh, we actually have way more maple trees than I thought. Um, I lost count somewhere around 35, but I think we ended up with over 40. Now, a lot of those are smaller. They're about this big, and uh, I did have quite a few that were good size too, about half and half, but a lot of younger ones. And so those are trees that I could tap one year, maybe give them a year of rest and then tap another year. But I could probably get about 50 taps in the trees. I bet I could get 50, if I pushed it, probably 60 taps out in the forest here, which is pretty decent for this property, I think. Um, and because of the elevation here, I think I actually have a lot more maple syrup uh, potential here than I thought. And so I may have to set up a sugar shack again and, and uh, ident you know, devise some kind of a tubing system that will go down to a sugar shack. So going around and identifying, taking inventory of what I have has helped me to understand what I can do, where I should put, put a sugar shack, what I should start thinking about going into the fall and winter of this next year. When I walked through the forest in the wintertime, uh, I actually thought we had a lot of cottonwoods in here, which turned out to actually be those oaks. Um, because of the way they've grown in here, they, they looked very similar bark-wise to some of those cottonwood trees. So it was kind of nice to know that um, I didn't see any cottonwood trees in here. We have mainly shagmark hickories, oak trees, maple trees, um, some of the, the sassafras trees. We've got a bunch of cherry trees in here. Um, and so it, it was kind of nice to see that uh, those are better, you know, better stands of trees. They're, they're hardier, they're better for firewood, they're better for lots of different uses. 
We obviously have a lot of acorns in here, uh, which could be used for something. Uh, we've got those fruit trees around the house that I had no idea about, the, the um, crab apples as well as the black cherries. So I'll be looking for those, uh, see how the harvest of those goes throughout the year. We've got a mulberry tree, which we <laughs> we've had one at every single house, uh, kind of surprise mulberry tree at every house we've lived at in the last, the last three homesteads. And so it's nice to have the mulberry tree there. Even though it's small, it'll grow pretty quickly and that'll be great for us uh, every year to have some mulberries. Since we moved here in the fall, after all the leaves had fallen off the trees, I have not had a chance to really do this. That Plant Story app, um, it does cost money. It is something you have to pay for, but trust me, I've tried tons of these different, you know, plant identify type apps out there and they generally don't really work. This thing identified everything in mushrooms. I mean, weeds, <laughs> I was like grass. I, I was playing around with it, just taking pictures of everything, and, it, and it's pretty good. Um, very surprising at how well it does to help. And obviously it's not 100%, it's gonna make mistakes, but it at least gets you in the right direction. And uh, usually if I take a couple pictures of the same leaves in different you know, areas and it gives me the same result every time, then I'll know for 100% that it's or pretty close to it, that that's what it is. And so it was useful even to just identify our landscaping, like, okay, they planted this here, what is this, what is that? And you know, this is a hosta, this is this kind of ivy and all these different things. Uh, which was really nice. So, so I would uh, get the app, uh, check it out. I'm gonna put a link down below for that. Um, and uh, you click on the link. We're actually an affiliate with that company now. Um, I reach out to them and, and just love that app uh, so much that uh, I wanna work with them. And so I'll be sharing that app out with you guys a lot. I would recommend you guys try it out. And if you click the link in the description, we get credit for it, which is nice. And so let me know what you guys think. Have you taken an inventory of your homestead? What resources do you have naturally growing around your property that you could use? Uh, now that we have kind of a list, we can start to devise all these different re different ways we can use those things. And I would recommend you guys do the same out there. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And of course, if you have not subscribed, if it's your first time here, we'd love to have you tag along to the SSL Family Dad channel. And uh, stay tuned for all the fun coming up. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.